What is up everybody out there? Aklis here. And uh, this is not the general type of video I am, that I have done before. Uh, what this video actually is, is a PS4 streaming slash recording tutorial. And how to do so with the Elgato on OBS Studio. The reason why I pick OBS Studio over the actual Elgato program is the main reason is the optimizing issue. My computer generally has to run three times harder to do the same thing that OBS Studio can do. So with this, there are a few things that I found were an issue that I could not find on the internet and this is why I'm posting this video March 28th, 2017. With the Elgato, there are a few cords that you could buy to fix the major audio issue there is with streaming the PS4. And the reason why I'm so focused on the PS4 is because the Xbox One does not have this problem. For the main reason, the Xbox can split audio. It can split it through the headphones and the HDMI at the same time. Well, with the PlayStation 4, it chooses one or the other. It does not split it. So what we have to do is we have to go and find out how we can put the game and chat back into the stream or recording. So with this, you're gonna need a few cords and this is a low budget. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta put this at the beginning. This is a low budget um, solution. So one of the easiest solutions is you can go out and buy an Astro headset with an Astro mixer. Well, this is not the type of tutorial. If you have an Astro, this is not for you. So what you're gonna go and buy is you're gonna go get a uh, little, I mean, I bought this for about $7, audio splitter with one male to two females. The other thing you're gonna buy is you're gonna buy a fairly decent sized auxiliary cord. You don't want it too big and you don't want it too small. Also, if, um, depending on your setup is how big you want this. Because generally this is gonna go into your controller and this is gonna go back into your computer. Uh, but I'm gonna get into that later on. But that's generally the length that you're gonna have to do, need it for your setup. And if you want to talk to people on uh, the PlayStation chat or party chat, you're going to need a second mic that's USB. And I'm using my Blue Snowball as an example because it is a USB mic. It, all you have to do is just plug this straight into the PlayStation and it works. But you can use any USB mic. Since this generally runs anywhere between $60 to $80, this might not be in your budget. You can go and buy, you know, a $20 headset or um, $20 little microphone, you know, stand for your desk. And then this is going to be the microphone that you use for your stream. Um, I am using the Blue Yeti, which is higher quality because I would rather have the people watching my stream have the higher quality audio versus the people in the party chat because uh, PlayStation condenses the audio anyways, and it just doesn't it doesn't sound as good as it should, no matter what microphone. You and then uh, the last thing to get the audio to yourself is to have headphones that have uh, a general auxiliary, you know, jack. And the reason why you have to use a second microphone um, later on is because uh, the way that I have it set up, it won't recognize the microphone. It will recognize the headphones, but not the microphone. As you can see that these headphones do have a built-in microphone, it still won't pick it up no matter what you do. So easy setup, you're gonna plug the microphone straight into your PlayStation and it'll pick it up. Then you're going to take your controller and you're going to plug the splitter into the controller, as so. I also apologize if you are crazy about cable management, this might not be the solution for you, but at the same time, this is the only solution that I have found. So the reason why it won't pick up is because the PlayStation only picks up this part. It won't pick up what you plug into here. It only picks it up as a headphone. It's not gonna pick up as a microphone. So even if I plug in, even if I go ahead and I plug in my headphones, it's not gonna recognize it. But this is to get um, the audio 
to your headphones so you can still hear everything. So the second one, what you're gonna take is your auxiliary cord and you are going to plug it into the second slot. So with the second slot, this is the other end of the auxiliary. What you're gonna have to do is plug this into your computer as a microphone. It is, you, you cannot plug this into a regular audio uh, jack. It has to be the microphone plug-in for this to work. So now that that's all set up, let's go into the PlayStation and I'll show you the settings that you have to put in order to get all the audio correct and the video correct. So, since we're here on the PlayStation, what you're going to want to do is, one of the first things is you're going to go over to settings, and then you're going to go over to system. And one of the things you're going to do is you're going to disable the HDCP. And what this will do is this is going to make it so the Elgato can actually pick up and split the image properly. If you don't have this, your system's gonna crash, it's not gonna go well, and just just turn it off. So once you have that done in systems, what you're gonna have to go up to is you're gonna go into devices, and then you're gonna go into audio devices. So, as you can see, my input device at the very top, it says none. Well, if I plug in my Blue Snowball microphone, it instantly recognizes it's a USB microphone, and that's the one it's gonna be using. And since you have the splitter plugged into the controller, you have the headphones connected um, to the controller. And what this is, it's, it's just basically saying that only the audio is gonna go through the controller. Another thing is you want output to headphones, you want all audio. If you have chat audio, you're only gonna pick up the voices, you're not gonna pick up, like if you're playing Battlefield, you're not gonna pick up any of the gun sounds, you're not gonna pick up any of the feet, you know, footsteps, you're not gonna pick up anything. So make sure it's on all, audio and that's basically all the settings through here you just got to make sure that in systems HDCP is um, in a uh, disabled my bad it's disabled it's turned off and you can go through here you know activate all or go through and make sure all the audio settings are to your liking and that's basically all you have to do on the PlayStation, is just make sure that all chat is going through and HDCP is done. So let's go into OBS Studio, and I'll show you how to set up the final forms to getting everything working. All right, so this is OBS Studio, and because I have lack of a program that can actually record on top of this, um, I'm just gonna have OBS record itself, which gives it this weird little uh, like mirror effect, but we're gonna ignore that because this doesn't necessarily do anything with, uh, like it doesn't bother or anything. So um, as you can see right here, I already have a PS4 stream already set up, but I'm gonna recreate it in here uh, just so you guys get an idea for it. So generally you'd have to go add scene and then rename it and then you'll get an empty source. So what you're gonna wanna do is, I mean, ignore these for right now because this is how I'm recording it, but you're gonna have to go and you hit add and then video capture device and you name it whatever and uh, create new and then hit okay. But since I already have it, I'm going um, to already get it from the existing. So you're gonna create a new one. And then when you create a new one, you see it's right here. Um, it is indeed working because if I close this off, you're gonna see no signal. That's all you see, no signal. Um, but if, uh, but when you click new, it's gonna show a screen like this. And you're going to click the Elgato Gaming Capture HD through the device. And personally, I have the Elgato HD 60. So this is what it looks like for me. Everything should just be default. Nothing should be, you know, there or anything. And generally the Elgato, you want it muted. Since there is no audio going through because the PlayStation is choosing to put all the audio through the PlayStation, um, you're gonna want to mute it. 
it's, it's already muted. So if I unmute it, you see this little green right here? That's all white noise. That's stuff that you don't want. Um, so there's the video for the Elgato, but how do we get the audio? Well, you remember the auxiliary cord, how we plugged it into the mic in your computer? Well, you go in sources, you right click, you hit add, and then you hit audio input capture. And then with audio input capture, same thing, you're gonna create new and you're gonna name, I named mine PlayStation 4 Sound. So I'm already, I already have it set up, but for you, again, it's gonna pop up with this window. <clears throat> and it's gonna show you every single audio device that you have. So default, it's whatever you set your default to down over here. Um, I have the Blue Yeti, which is currently what I'm speaking through right now. There's uh, with the Elgato software comes the Elgato sound capture. That's a whole completely different thing. That's mostly for like PC gaming and such. Um, and then I have the webcam built into, or I have the microphone built into my webcam. And then this is the microphone that's built into the computer itself. It's always gonna say something different, um, but for my default, it's this one. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then right there, I got some uh, PlayStation sound coming through and that's just the little um you know jingle in the background or whatever um but i'm going to just mute that for right now and so with the playstation sound and the auxiliary microphone or whichever mic you're using i'm using my blue yeti as i've said before the thing is is the elgato um picture is always going to have a slight delay to it because the elgato has to take a moment to split the high definition image into two uh, same high definition images with very, very minimal quality um, decrease at all. So there's always gonna be a slight delay and to counteract this delay, you're gonna have to delay uh, all your microphones. So what you do is you go to this mixer, you find your microphone and you find the audio. The, the PlayStation 4 sound, which would be this one. Actually, no, it would be this one, sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. I named it um, PlayStation 4 sound. And for me, uh, 450 milliseconds seems to time everything up perfectly. So I offset only the microphone and the sound to 450 milliseconds. And granted, this is different for every single Elgato, every single system, every single computer. It's different. So you're always gonna have to play around with it until you get the audio right. And let's say you add a webcam to this scenario. Well, my webcam seems pretty huge, so I'm just gonna do that right now. And there's no image on top of it, so um, we're gonna ignore that for now. But then the webcam is gonna be faster than everything else. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna go to filters, and here I am. Um, and then you're going to hit the plus button and get a video delay sync. And since I already have the video delay sync, if you wanna deactivate it without getting rid of it fully, you could just click the little eyeball thing. And so now I'm moving way faster than I should have because the microphone is at 450. So let's put that back into sync. So it should be back synced up. If it's not, oh well, I'm still gonna roll with it. Um, but then you're gonna put the same delay on the webcam. And so that should have everything synced up. So we got the webcam, the Elgato, and your PlayStation sound all in one place, all synced up. That should be everything here. And if you have any other further questions or any comments, you know, leave them down below. I'll try to respond to any questions towards this and again I was only making this video because I could not find a solution similar to this anywhere else. So if you did enjoy please leave the like button and if and you know if you enjoy if you want to you could subscribe. Um, but mostly I'm over on Twitch with the same name as this one if you want to go follow me over there. I'll be streaming a lot more games. So that will be the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed again, and I'll see you later. Peace.